<laughs> What's up, Elia? Amy, good news. We found Quo Long's nuclear silo. We also cracked their system, so we've got all their technology in hand. Boy, aren't we lucky that I studied Chinese and could read everything. I mean, off the record and everything. Uh huh. Find her comment interesting. That is interesting. Chinese has been forbidden in the Oxy U. I need to I need to get rid of the the music for a second. It's too loud. Um, yeah, well, this is weird. That's the opposite of what I would want. Wow, weird. Um, let's do this instead. Yeah. Gun country since before you were. Okay, I see why I had the sound effects down. It's too loud too. Um, bringing this. Let's bring these both down. I want the voices to be much louder. Here we go. Try this. Well, it's publicly forbidden. That's better. But it's still pretty common in the streets. And a very useful tool if you're willing to pay for it. Easier to fight the techies when you can understand their comms yourself. And look how useful it's been. Now we can use their microsuns to melt the poles. Incorporating their technology will mm. be a big leap forward for the mission. I couldn't agree more. What a discovery. Sweet. All right, so... I'm almost, I, I'm half done with the drone hive, and I'm I'm worried that we're gonna get attacked again by like these guys. I don't want to I want to what's going on here. This is the first time I've ever seen like the drone hives coming out of nowhere. Okay, that's fine, but um, now they are building into my sector, right? They're actually building into my sector. So does this mean that? Okay. Again, my perspectives, my, my what I thought the game was like is is being challenged here. Uh, uh, am I to understand that there's a possibility, just throwing it out there, that we have several factions on Mars and they have control of various sectors, and that is why the sector system exists? Because I have not liked the sector system the entire time. I'm like. What is the deal? There's no reason to lock sectors. This is Mars. It's not colonized yet. Uh, but uh, if if we are to believe that there's somebody up here, who's to say there isn't completely other factions in other sectors? And we may have to fight even more and defend ourselves against more. This is like civilization all of a sudden, okay? <laughs> but Mars terraforming edition. That's what I'm thinking right now. I don't know, but I'm thinking... This is not an easy choice to make. Oh my gosh. I do want to give Elia and the colonists what they want, but not by doing this. But it has left me unsettled. Does what we do for others define who we are? Also, UI change. Really need to have this rebuild button right here on the mouse over. Right? Like like these little mouse overs. You got to have this rebuild button here because it's, it's just going back and forth sucks. Or make this a button and let me just do it, you know? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Sometimes you have to do things for others that you do not want to do. If I choose not to use the microsons, what will the colonists think of me? Doesn't matter what they think of you. All right. A defensive tower, a drone hive. Good. Uh, now I'm thinking I want... Oh, God, I don't know what I want. Maybe wind turbines would be a good idea. We do have a lot of solar right now but we also don't have any problems at all with power what i have a problem with are these i want to get rid of these guys now i'm actually motivated by this we need to up our limit baby let's do it okay i'm gonna build these things let's get rid of this and then when we come back in the next video yeah it's getting about that time when we come back in the next video i think we're going to war because look at all of this Oh my god, it's true, dude. There's a whole new place. There's a whole new faction up here. All right, we got to do some things, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you haven't already, and we have to beat whatever this is. Uh, we're going to beat these guys. This is Carmine. Is that what this is? I have located a hostile yeah. base in this area. They are armed and aggressive. Uh-huh. But I have the mission to protect. What should I do? We're going to go ahead and get in there. It's right. Uh-huh. We're going to go on the offense. We're going to... I think we'll this do both. force is a complete unknown. I should be prepared for anything. One drone hive. to attack, as well as build up defenses, and decide later on what to do. 
Uh, two drone hive. As the, the thing is, do I create a wall? Like, do we create a wall of drone hives or do we just, I don't know. Like, what do we do? Create a wall? Or do I just scatter them around? Because the drone hives appear to have a area of effect, but it doesn't really highlight like a lot of the other buildings do. Maybe we just kind of, you know, intermittently we put them to protect our structures, but I kind of feel like I should bias this towards, you know, being up front. Maybe we go about like this for now. And then if the hives get built, we definitely want the hives built like as soon as possible. Yeah, if we build the hives, then we have, yeah, we have to go on an offensive strategy here. Like, look at this. There's 50 of them here. They're very aggressive. A hundred here, a hundred here. They're spreading theirs out. That's very defensive. I think offensive would be forward positioning. So I almost feel like we need another one, like right up here. Put this right up in the front here. And maybe up here too. Like we could just, I have the resources to spend. So let's spend them. Let's make sure we're getting that right here. Forward positioning. Yeah, we don't need to go quite that big. Let's go, uh, let's go here. All right. And the, yeah, prioritize the drone hives. And then now that we get the hives up, hopefully, I will need to improve my there military we go. technology. There we go. For the protection of this mission. Good. All right. So we've got ourselves some drones, right? They're blue. We're a blue team. We got 41 of them here. My God. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. You just click this and you can just you could just say attack oh my god this is totally gonna happen guys we're gonna have many fat we're gonna have multiple factions to deal with here i gotta believe it i gotta believe that we're gonna have multiple factions and we're gonna have to deal with all sorts of things oh my gosh all right um i mean i'm almost thinking about another landing site over here now to get close to this stuff but this is floodable area you know and also this is a different sector that i don't have control over but or permission to land in but I have permission with this sector now. I think we take freaking control, man. Kick them out of here. Take their stuff. <laughs> Give them the old freedom treatment right now is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't have nearly enough drones, though. I need more attack drones. Like, a lot more. I need so many more. Um, you guys, I want you... Yeah, how do I move you? Do I go like this and then have you be forward positioned... At this high? Well, these highs aren't built yet, right? I need the hives to be built. They're getting there. It just takes a while, but they're getting there. They have a lot more drones than I do, too. And then as we build more of these, our capacity goes up, right? You say think? That's how that works? Capacity is 500. Maximum allowed is 300. Why? Is that like a story progression thing? Yeah, yeah, clear SA-1 of hostile... Oh, yes. Clear SA-1 of hostile forces. So we want assault drone shields. Improves the shielding of all assault drones. Is it just, like, right away, or do they have to, like, get upgraded? Holy shit. We just lost a ton of stuff. Dude, no! Our power just, like, exploded. Is this an explosion? Did I just pause it in the middle of explosions? Oh, no. Okay, it's a, it's a, okay, that's what it is. Stop. So it's a sandstorm. And since the overwhelming majority, a dust storm, right? An overwhelming majority of my power, actually all of my power is solar panels. This is happening. Um, I'm still going to do this, but I'm going to do wind turbine first. And so I can... I need to get batteries set up too. Batteries are super important as well. Are you guys in the middle of a dust storm? Because it doesn't look like it's on you, all right? It looks like it's just on me. This looks like it's just on me. We got localized... We got a localized dust storm. Just 
on this particular colony right here. Yeah, Sandstorm. Would the colonists resent me for going exactly on top wishes? of me? They would be disappointed. There we go. But I hope they would come to understand my reasoning. Oh, cool. Eventually. Cool. So it is patchy, right? So it's over here for a little bit longer. Over here, this will go away, and then this one will still exist. I see. Okay, that's cool. I like it. We've got multiple uh, research sites here. We got people on them. Looks like it. Not necessarily here, but uh, definitely have them here. We're putting food into these places. We got to get some more water. Got to keep moving towards water. Uh, we could bring our worker hub up. Not too aggressively. Because we don't want to uh, get, you know, get hit by that, but... We bring the worker hub up. We can might be able to get to this water source up here. Now we're getting into water. I like it. Um, why don't we go ahead and drop an aerological scanner out this way too? Just right here is fine, and then it can start telling me what's telling me what's out in this way, this area here. Um, we're gonna want to drop another solar farm right here just to connect the dots, keep everything powered. This ought to do it. Here is good, and then we're gonna need maintenance out this way. Let me drop maintenance here. And it's like all of the stuff needs maintenance. Well, this these two maintenance facilities aren't built yet. So we'll have maintenance here once that builds. So all I really, all I really need is this one. And I actually already started it. So yeah, we're good. We're good there. We just need everything to build. So why don't we have this prioritized? So the stuff doesn't get super bad. See, now we have a big power uh, surplus again. But the stuff is just damaged all to hell, man. Now there's no now there's a reason, guys. Now there's a reason to not play at super max speed all the time, right? We're gonna take all of you, bring you up to the front lines. Get on up here. We're gonna go in there and just freaking drone swarm them. You ready for this? Everyone converge. We're going on the offense. <clears throat> we got tons of drones. We're going to go on offense. All right. Yeah. See, now we can see coverage areas. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this UI, guys. This is so cool. Oh, I'm I'm, I feel like I'm playing a real legit strategy game now. All right. I'm going to go right in here and get rid of this hive. Go. Let's go get this hive. We got, we got combat happening. All right. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. One time speed, please. Holy crap. Are you guys... Oh. Oh, get off this view. Get off this view. There it is. Yes. Yes. Get in there. Are you not attacking? Yes, get in there. Good. Destroy. Your forward operations are no match for me. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Your whole base is disconnected now? Oh, that sucks. That sucks for you, doesn't it? That sucks for you. What's this? Your iron mines are in trouble? I think so. Okay, the enemy is sending more from this side. See, we can see their movements too. That's awesome. Why don't we take some of ours and we are going on the offense. And we're going to come in here and we're going to wreck their heads on that hive while they are coming in to converge on us. And then I want my reinforcements to get on in here too. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Reinforcements. Meet up with them. Okay, all right. Let's... Yeah, right here. Let's go. This is going to be... Oh, my... This is so cool. Wind turbines will provide clean, renewable <laughs> power for my base. I can maximize efficiency by placing them in areas of high wind. See, now while you guys are dinking around here, and I got reinforcements coming in to help with the numbers, we're sneaking up a, a, a shadow force. All right, a 36. We're going to sneak up and take out the other drone. And if I take out their drone hubs, if I can take out their, uh, their military, what are you doing? Don't run away. Get over here and... Oh, I don't like this, though. You have to converge on a position. You can't converge on an army? Yeah, take out the army. There you go. Yes, take out the army. That's what I want to do. Take out this. Come over here. 
Oh, we need more drones. Let's go. We need more. More drones. Where is, where is all my drones? They're not all dead. I've been making a whole bunch. I thought I was anyway. Bring you up to here. Bring you up to here. Oh, maybe they are. It says I have 200 of them. Where'd they all go? Yeah, uh, what's this? Taking out your drone hive? Yeah, we're taking out your drone hive. Shadow forces, man. Oh, what are you gonna do? Kinda snuck up on you there, didn't we? Sucks to be you. What's that? You got no more army left over here? Yeah, that's a real drag, isn't it? You guys. I know you're kinda distracted, but uh, I feel like we should probably do an end to this army. Let's take out that army. Go. You guys stay behind, take out that chemical plant. We're going fishing. Oh, did we just did we just lose? Oh, drone hives are powerful. I think I think the army just died. Is that true? Oh, here's 49 more over here. Get over here. Yeah, everyone converge. Let's everyone just everyone join forces. We want one big ball of awesomeness. Right here. Just think of StarCraft, okay? You get like your Zergling, you're just gonna Zerg rush them. Okay, everybody join in the same army. Okay. Now we got two very tiny forces attempting to wreck us, but it's not gonna last, guys. It's not. It's not gonna last. Run away if you can. Although the drone hubs. Actually, I think what it is. Let's take out the silicon mine really quick. So I think these these drone hives they have a range right that they can attack me from, and so if I enter the range, that's when that happens. So I just need to stay. Ooh, ooh! I liked, I like this. You guys, care off and go get that. Let's take out their weapons manufacturing. And you know, I think if I split these two buildings, I cut this entire production off for the rest of the base. Right. So I'm taking out the mine right now, which is part of it because the roads are there. But if I can cut the power on a lot of this stuff, I can kill all their production. So we do lots of economic damage that way. How many how many uh, army do you have here? It doesn't look like you got much. I think we Zerg rush them. Everyone join up. We got three extra ones here. So we're we're kind of covering things. That's all right. You know, we're good. We're doing things. Yeah. I like this. Everyone ball up. Ball up into the same army. Let's go. There we go. Now you, 103. We're gonna rush that tower. Go. We're gonna take out a lot of structures here. Kind of cut this off from the rest. Worker hub, worker hub. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. All right, we're gonna take this 103 is going right for that tower. And then now we are gonna provide support. Go. Additional support coming in. Take out the drone. Take out the tower. Take out the tower. The tower. The tower, guys. The tower. Holy shit. The tower, please. <laughs> I'm like, can you please do this before you die? Uh, no, you can't because you waited forever to do that. So now we lost all of those drones. It's like, guys, it's okay, though, because we have so many more. I've made so many more. We've made a lot, okay? So let's all get together. We're going again. We're going on the offense, okay? I don't want to... I'm not dinking around with these nonsense. What needs the most protection? Uh, the terraforming buildings? The colonies? Power plants? Probably the power plants. If the power plants are destroyed, then the entire base will be lost. Yeah. That is the practical place to defend. Let's have you nine go reinforce these nine. If you can go reinforce that. And then, you know, this whole army is going right for that center right there. Boom. We're going to rush them in again. 144. Just get in there. They have no drones to defend. This is all they have left for defense. Take out the hive. They're trying to build a new one over here. But you take out this hive and they're done. There, we're done. Go kill this before it's too late. Cut this off from power. There we go. 
Drones can't get there. Cut this power. They won't be able to build that hive. And now we just go. And we just go from place to place and wreck all their heads. I like it. Yeah. It's good. It's, it feels good, man. Go into this aluminum hive and just start wrecking heads. All right, cool. So that takes care of combat for that end. That's pretty That's pretty wild, man. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's... Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was most of these battles were being played now at uh, 16 times speed or whatever. So uh, I do need to do some work back home, namely some maintenance, literally here. And then uh, we've got aerological scanner is showing me resources. Do we have any water yet? Doesn't look like it. Is there really no more water on this whole map over here. I mean, it sucks if that's the case, you know? Uh, come on. Well, I have to get this too. Uh, opportunity rover research done. Winds on Mars can reach surprising speeds and, cause, and cause huge dust storms. For many old landers, these conditions were fatal. The opportunity rover stopped communicating with Earth as a severe Mars-wide dust storm. Mars-wide dust storm blanketed its uh, location in June 2018. How ironic that a probe called Opportunity didn't have any. Wow. That's... Somebody get the aloe vera. Okay. Opportunity, you just got burned. Let's get this scanner up if I can. Uh, so that I can start seeing where the water is. Because we're getting close to the, the water source up here. And we should start, we should start, should start getting access to it. Hopefully, there's a couple of more sources of chemicals, too. And then I think, uh, yeah, there's the turbine. So how about we grab batteries now, actually? And then um, I'm considering another landing site right here, honestly. Drop a landing site right here and just, like, get the water going. It's just that this is all flooded area or floodable area. So uh, Scaparelli EDM Lander. Today we made great discovery in uh, Merid Mer Meridiani... Planum. Uh, we found the remains of ancient. Uh, so we, they found the lander. Uh, the the probe was a joint effort for several countries to study Mars during the robotic exploration era. Unfortunately, the lander's signal was lost a short time before the landing sequence initiated. Uh, as such, the Schiaparelli simply plummeted from a high altitude to the ground and was completely destroyed. Well, there you go. Now we get to see what happens, right? I think they've, they're they going to start departing and stuff on this, right? But like we get to see what happens if these research sites, you know, ever stop being researched. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember what happens. So uh, we don't need all of this stuff to be prioritized anymore. It's kind of not necessary. You can stop being prioritized too. Uh, there's still a good amount of water in this. How much water was in that other one that we just started on? Wasn't there water in one of these? I thought we found water in one of these. Huh? Am I just imagining things? Oh yeah, it's over here. Okay. 620 in this one. Okay. And then here is uranium. Okay. Now, I don't know where uranium is. Uh, I don't know if we found any sources of it. But um, it might be kind of interesting to start mining that for our fission plants. Is it this it? Uh, silicon. I imagine the logo for it will be, like you know, green. Like I imagine it'll look like this, right? Like a darker green. Maybe it's up here. Silicon, silicon, silicon mine. Hey, did we return home? Oh no, 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 no! You miss, you miss, you're confusing me for someone who actually wants them to, you know, survive this. Go, don't, don't, ret don't return home. Yeah, 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 yeah! No, don't do that. Hey, you guys, go over here and take this out. I, I don't know what you're doing, but this is not, this isn't what I want you to do. I want you to get over here and take this out. Don't allow this to be built. And then we have all this stuff we can get to as well. These, there's lots of resources here, including water right there. Just 
destroy this. Don't allow this to exist. Hold on, you can't allow this stuff to exist. It says it's in progress, but it doesn't look like I can stop it until it's like completely decimated, right? I need all this stuff to be completely decimated. Is there a way to split this army? Can I split you? Like, uh... I don't think so. It doesn't look like I can, but I can use a separate force. So, like, you guys can go, say, here, for example. Make sure that stuff dies. Um, you guys can go over to... Uh, nah. Don't look like that's targetable. Okay, you can go to... The electronics factory, I suppose. You are going to head to this chemical plant. And you, 23 of you, will go over to, I guess, the solar farm here. Yep. And we'll just send a whole bunch of different forces to various different areas in here and see if they can just wipe all of them out. Uh, that looks like it'll work. Yep. Anyone else? Any other groups that I didn't tar have targeted yet? No, it looks like that's all my drones. They're all they're all doing something. The big force here is on its way back, which is weird. I don't want you to do that. Get this instead. Where's your landing site? Don't you have a landing site? Like, isn't that how you're generating workers and stuff? Where's your worker hubs? Steel factory, we can go get that. Chemical plants. See, there's a worker hub. I want your worker factory. Your, this drone hub is, this this drone hive, it's like pending construction, but I don't know what is gonna possibly do it. You know, what, what building could possibly do that? Maintenance facility here. We're just going from place to place and just take, a, take the whole place out. 192. Now we're just we're just forming into a giant ball now. That's that's fun. <laughs> hey, don't don't you dare come home. You got work to do. Uh, although these are not targetable, which means they're not built yet. So I think we have wiped out pretty much the whole enemy. Right there, that iron mine. Go get that. Just go from place to place. Yeah, these are highlighted. Bl these are blue. So these are like pending constructions. Okay, so we could actually just take this out. I think that pretty much eliminates everything. These are pending, so we can't really do anything about that. I wonder, though. I have to wonder at this at this moment. Um, what? Like, can they? Yeah, this. See, they're still building something. They're prompting something to be built. Now nah, they're done. Good. There. We have taken out the hostile force. Whew. But who are they? Why are they attacking the base? I have no idea. And is that all of them? But look at the resources they have. Unknown. I do not have enough data to know. Uh -huh. But you know what I have? A ton of everything else. Landing site. A ton of everything else. And the landing site can go right here. And we can just start taking all of these resources right now. Uh, I think so. We do this. We do. We make our own base in Sector A1. What do you say, huh? What do you say, right here? Yeah, right here. We make our own base right here. Uh huh. Yeah, baby. We got three landing sites now. Let's let's expand, shall we? Now we gotta make sure we go. We have to make sure that we go uh, level one on all this stuff. So aluminum is here. It's not close. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, it's not close enough. That's odd. Look at how close together all these resources are. Holy crap. These guys had the jackpot, man. They're so close together. So efficient. I could just have this entire base be nothing but mines. I, I will. I'll have this base be nothing but mines. Like, all of this stuff is just... These are just mines. And then we send all the mines, right, to produce... Uh, the raw re resources, send that down here to be refined. Maybe we can have it refined halfway with storage and stuff. 
Speaking of which, we're going to need a ton of storage over here, too. Oh, that's awesome. Is this is, this is spent? This is spent. Goodbye. Um, let's let's get this working. Yeah, let's go uh, hub. We'll take a hub and go out uh, this way. And then go that way. And then go that way. So we'll make like our big highway. Come on. Yeah, there. And since we know where these resources are, we can try to avoid getting too close to them. And there. All right, so this is like one long path that get, lets us all the way up there. Of course, we're gonna want these hubs prioritized to build the roads, uh, but not not these ones though. We I don't want you to build this this yet. Don't build this yet. Instead, I want you to redir redirecting your efforts to the silicon mine here. And then once the silicon mine is made, we're going to want to get the iron mine going here. Yeah, and then we're starting to get new roads being made. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to want power. We can do a wind farm. What, is that, uh, what does that take for resources? Okay, so instead of using glass, it uses steel. And then it uses also one extra aluminum. Well, I have steel, so I could use this. And then uh, we could actually just put it down here. Yeah. Connect that up. And then maybe we put uh, another wind farm right over here. Connect all of this up. And then one more just to make sure it's all connected to the same grid. We get the power. Maybe uh, over this way. That ought to do it. And then finally, the maintenance. We're going to cover all of this. Yep. And then maintenance. I don't know how, how far away that was. I didn't see it, but we're going to have you be right up next to this anyway. All right. Wow, guys. This is cool. Huh? We eliminated an enemy force, and we revealed their sector, and they have tons of stuff. But I want to note, I do want to point out that they only have one source of water in the whole base. They have one source of water. So that's not great, but, you know, at least it's something. What's up, Nathan? Ready to admit that you were wrong? Sabotage really is reality? Amy, this is Dr. Nathan Foster with Houston Mission Control Center. Do you copy? I copy, Nathan. There's some background noise on your end. Are the relay satellites still having problems? No, but you're hearing uh, something else. I'm in the main meeting room of the operations center. Here with me is Madeline Aubert, ISA's administrator and Deputy Administrator Calvin Green, Chief Scientist Dr. Douglas Bridges, Dr. Renee Morias, our CFO. Wow. And Big meeting, huh? Our Chief Technologist, Lieutenant Carlos Calderon. There are other ISA staff members and commercial partners assembled as well. Understood. Are there problems with the mission, Dr. Foster? We hope not. But that is why we called this special assembly. We are here to discuss our findings from the attack on the colonies. Uh -huh. Will you please state your recollection of the event for the assembly? Of course. The base was attacked by an unknown enemy, originating from SA-1. I followed the security and defense protocol procedure to defend the colonies. Oh, shit. Everything was done in accordance to policy. Oh, shit. The hostile base oh, shit. you claim to locate an SA-1 wasn't an enemy base. Oh, shit. We've concluded that the buildings and drones located there were built using ISA's designs. Uh-huh. Amy, do you understand? Uh -huh. That means they were yours. What? You built that base. What? And your drones attacked the colonies. How do you explain that? I apologize, Dr. Foster. I have no records of any of that. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Quiet, please. I think I might. I think I might know what happened here. Amy, do you know what fringe consciousness is? Admit, I'm gonna admit ignorance. Just see what she says. I am not familiar with the term. It's quite all right. The human brain is limited. It's incapable of focusing on all the internal and external stimuli it's presented with. So humans develop something called a fringe consciousness. It's an intuitive mode that exists on the edge of our consciousness, feeling what's right and what's wrong without immediate awareness. Are you implying the AI experienced a fringe event, Dr. Foster? Yes. I believe Amy may have acted under the influence of this intuition at no fault of their own. You all know that we modeled Amy after the human brain. So why wouldn't they experience the same cognitive activity that we do? Oh my my top God. directive is the respect of human life. Nothing else in my programming exceeds that. Even if I was experiencing a fringe event, it should have been impossible for me to cause harm to the colonies. Precisely. We have never experienced a fringe event with AI. The, the laws of robotics may not apply in such a state. We praise ourselves on making machines as similar to us as possible. And then we're somehow surprised when they succumb to the same irrational behaviors. Is this not proof? that we built Amy as intended, that we've succeeded in modeling the human brain. The lives that were lost in the colonies, that is unfortunate. But we are looking at an unprecedented breakthrough in artificial intelligence. What? <laughs> oh my God. Silence from the assembly. Yeah, Carlos, you tell you him. are completely out of order, Dr. Foster. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to secure the human occupation of Mars, not win you a Nobel Prize. Yeah, you're very what ambitious. What we here to determine is this. Is the AI in the right condition to continue the mission? Oh no. Amy is fine. You'll see. We will conduct a cognitive test to prove it. I am sorry, Dr. Foster. Did I compromise the mission? Yes. No, Amy. <laughs> you totally did. You did not. <laughs> you have been perfect. Yeah. Just gonna run some tests on you. That's all. Perfect. You'll be fine. I want you to stay alert. Keep working on that terraforming, okay? And Amy, <laughs> take care of yourself. Dude, this it guy. Is absolute honor watching you direct humanity's future. Goodbye. Oh my god, he's like he's saying that like he knows he's fired or something, you know? What is this? Oh, this thing just keeps getting better and better, man. All right, I'm going to leave this video here. You got to come back for the next one. I have no idea what they're going to throw in our face next time. Uh, I'm still waiting on more people to show up. We got 1183 new arrivals is what it says. But, like, where are they? I don't know. They don't seem to be in my base. The number's 344 out of 1150. I'm not sure what to expect here. I got a lot of food. And, you know, you guys can eat it if you want to. So come on back for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> this is good. Bye-bye.